welcome back, welcome back to another episode of our Emerald Ironmon National Dex Nuzlocke. We had the starter selection in the last video. I believe this is all going to work correctly, right? I'm going to have the timer ball, and my starter selection should be the same. It is Gardevoir, Coco, and Scizor. I went through the comments on both YouTube and Facebook, and both of them were... I actually was surprised by this. I mean, I guess not super surprised. But both of them had the most votes for Coco. I don't know if it's because it's a Gen 9 Pokemon. People want to see it in this game. And it's an actual start Pokemon, but Fue Coco with Flash Fire, Fire Spin, Embers, and Powder Snow. Oh, that is a great start right there, let me tell you. Especially going against a Paris. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited to get into it. Uh, I actually should have left the comments up so I can grab the nicknames because I needed those also. So give me one second. It's been a while since I've done a YouTube series. I'm kind of slacking on my Mac and over here. Uh, okay got the comments pulled up let's see i'm going with gustav Gust i'm gonna go gustavo i feel like i'm gonna say gustavo every single time but william thank you for the comment thank you for the nickname we are holding a tm that's always great they feel so weird playing this game at normal speed dragon claw Oh, that's kind of crazy. I have Powder Snow for dragons already. So I'm going to hold on to that TM. I'm going to hold on to that TM because... Um, also, little things like this. The game, like, skips ahead and does these little things to... You know, cut out dialogue and whatnot. If you've been watching me play this on stream... Uh, then you'll know how... You'll know the little skips that it has. But uh, it's really... A lot of quality of life stuff, in my opinion, that makes it really good. Sandstream Agron. That's kind of crazy. Um, I'm gonna have, I think I'm excited for these abilities. Random abilities is always so fun. So she's gonna have a guard war, which is gonna be a little bit of a problem. And it's level six. This is not um I was gonna say this isn't part of the Nuzlocke, but it actually is, isn't it? Because I was like, you know, technically a death wouldn't count because it's a... Uh, before I get Pokeballs, but I have to beat her to continue the game. So, I can't really think about that. So, I'm going to have to actually grind up before his battle. I'm not used to being able to do that. So, let me do that. So, this is normally, this tracker will tell you to, uh, the game's over and whatnot, because it's, it's technically, you know, a, a Nuzlocke that is it's meant to be an Iron Mon and whatnot, but uh, I wasn't even thinking about the fact that I'm going to have to battle the guard for and go from there. This is so weird. I haven't done a regular Nuzlocke in so long. Oh, uh, I'm off my game. I'm off my game. But I'm super excited to get this playthrough going, though. Uh, we got a lot of new people on YouTube um, from that have come over from the TikTok. TikTok stream's been going really well. I'm posting these again on Facebook, which I haven't been doing for a few playthroughs now. I haven't been posting them on Facebook. Um, so... It's gonna be fun. Just kind of get everything, get everything back in, back in order. I'm still doing the subathon. I'm. You're flash fire too. Oh come on. Yikes. Um. But I, I'm still doing the subathon. We are on day 41 as of today. If this video goes live. I'm still live on kick. Playing. Probably the heart gold version of this because spoilers, we beat the emerald version. Um, we beat it on Monday morning. Uh, I will have a video of that going out eventually um, on Facebook, YouTube, and whatnot. So keep an eye out for that. I'm excited for it. It was a insane, insane time, man. It was so much fun. So much fun. We had the craziest viewership of my life. Um, we had over 550, I think, on Kick at one point. We had like seven to 800 people watching on TikTok. It was insane absolutely insane i always suggest if you guys if you guys like the content you definitely gotta make sure you watch the streams definitely gotta make sure you watch the streams i do love doing this type of content as well believe me i have been craving getting back into this i, I miss it so much so much uh i'm gonna get to like level i think i'm just getting like level seven i don't know that lust to purge the thing had lust to purge which is so strong i think it's my little foy coco I might need to get to level 8. 
I'm not going to be using any speed up on this. This series might take a while. Um, depending on how the level caps go and whatnot. And um, how difficult the gyms are. And how good my team is, I guess. You know, it's going to be water pulse. Or a fire spin. Honestly, I'd rather do that than spike. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to do this playthrough. I really don't mind this grinding that we're doing right now. Um, do I think I can beat at level 7? The fully evolved Pokemon, I might need to hit level 8. And they're at level 6, so it's like... Because I put a level increase on the game, you know, I gotta, I gotta kinda properly level up for it. Uh, but yeah, it's been, it's been really cool. Uh, just last, last 40 days have been absolute insanity. Um, some of the biggest growth in 40 days I've ever had as a content creator. It's been insane. It's been insane. I mean, if you're most people that just found me in that time frame, appreciate you hanging. We, and the thing that it's been, I think, you know, doing these playthroughs and doing these YouTube series and all that, I think that's one of the things that's helped me out the most during this because, oof, I don't want to fight you. Um, well, maybe not the most, but, you know, all these people who are just finding my content for the first time and just found out who I am, you know, they can follow me on YouTube and I have hundreds and hundreds and absurd amounts of you know, episodes of content, so, um, you know, there's just so much there. I also, camera, and I got a smaller window on the series now, uh, I made the camera smaller so I can make the game bigger, um, but I gotta make sure, when I'm streaming and stuff, I move the camera all the time, so I was like, I gotta make sure I line this back up when I start these videos, <laughs> so you guys can actually see me. All right, uh, let's go fight the Gardevoir, let's try it at level eight, I hope I can win. This whole first episode is just going to be me fighting the rival over and over again. Um, let's see how it goes. Runarigus. I love this Pokemon. I don't know why, but I really like that Pokemon. Oh man, I was even thinking. These are the Pokemon I was just kind of grinding against. I'm going to get to catch one of those. The thing with this game that is really good for a Nuzlocke is you get a lot of encounters very early on. You're faster than me? Oh, I might have to get to level 9. Oh, boy. I'm doing 50% with Luster Purge, and I'm doing nothing. Ooh. But we do get that. Um, I'm going to Spite. Did you hear yourself in confusion? I might be able to get rid of all your Luster Purges. It failed. That's not how that works, apparently. Let's freeze you then. I think I'm dead. He lived? It was a roll? Freeze, 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 freeze. Crit? No freeze. Dang it. Oh, I gotta get to level nine at least. Oh man, this is gonna be rough. You guys didn't think I I didn't even think about the fact that I was gonna have to fight a level six Gardevoir with Fue Coco and it was gonna be a uh, up to this route it was the randomized move set so it's not just gonna have like a weak move lust of purge is strong <laughs> lust of purge is a very strong move all right we'll get through it we'll get through it oh this one doesn't have sand stream okay i don't know what your other ability is but you should give a lot of experience very nice so i want to come up here yeah grounds mm. Mm, mm, mm. Oh my god, Relor. And if you haven't seen if you haven't seen a lot of Gen 9, you're gonna see a lot of Pokemon you have not seen before. So that's also another exciting thing I'm you know ready to show you guys all uh in the videos. <sighs> Alright, come on. Alright, last one here. This will be level nine. And I think at level nine I might be okay. I don't know. I'll be able to take you know, at least three of the Luster Purges, but I mean, even then, I barely even got close to winning that. Do I just go to 10? Do I just go to 10? I feel like I'm getting like one stat of speed and spadef and everything like that at every level, and I'm just going to get destroyed again. You're going to have Dragon Rage. Please don't. Please don't. 
crazy. Crazy how much I have to over level. Just to do this first battle. Shambles, I tell you, shambles. Which kind of makes me not nervous. I mean, I guess this is going to be a lot different once I, you know, have multiple Pokemon and I can, you know, switch around and whatnot. But uh, not a solo run. I'm going to have to keep that in mind. We'll hit level 10 and then we'll try the battle again. Lady was faster than me. Come on. Come on. You're killing me, Ledbo. Yeah, but like the fact that I even barely got close to beating that Gardevoir with a crit powder snow and hitting himself in confusion, I think twice. Oh, so close. So close. Come on. I'm hitting level 10. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I believe that um, the fully evolved version of this Pokemon, um, Skeleturge, I believe it's a special attack, all right? So, putting Dragon Claw on this could be good. Um, I just feel like the Dragon coverage isn't super necessary, since I do have Powder Snow. All right, level 10. If we can't beat a level 6 Gardevoir at level 10, Fue Coco was not the right decision, man, I'll tell you. And whoever voted Fue Coco is going to be the reason this episode is going to be 99%. Me grinding against wild Pokemon. <laughs> Just to be the rival. Oh, hi, ZZ. What are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? No, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. Can you, can you not climb up on my desk over here, please? This cat. I'm trying to teach this cat to kind of stop living on my desk. It's been driving me crazy. All right. Fight me, nerd. I love that the, the text in this game is like edited like that. All right, so I think Water Pulse, because it's a 30% chance to confuse, I think that's the best play. Oh, you go for the Charm? That's good. Okay. All right, that's good damage. Plus the Purge. 36, should take me down to about 20, like 25. 23, you get the Spadef drop, which is the issue with that move. Uh, Water Pulse, go for another, you can plus the Purge. This shouldn't kill. Faster than me though, which is the problem. Oh, you die. Easy. Can you get down? Come on. There we go. Finally. Twelve years later. Uh, doing it with no speed up too feels so funny. It takes so long. Receive the Pokeballs. Alright, we now have Pokeballs, so that means Route 101 is my encounter. It's completely randomized on luck. So whatever we get is our encounter. It is a QT fly. Uh, the little tracker on this, if you guys are new and don't understand what this is, it shows in parentheses next to their level. That's the level they evolve at. Um, if you've seen moves that it's used or abilities that have activated on it, it'll show that information under there as well. Um, there's also information on here about like, it's crazy. I could show you. Uh, there's a coverage calculator so i have water fire and ice it'll show you all the pokemon i can hit for neutral super effective four times effective and anything that can resist so obviously i can't hit a water type right now there's water resist all of those typings so all water types resist my entire moveset except you know dual typings but cutie fly let's look at the nicknames right now i'm gonna name it flask with flask and a couple people asked me during the stream if i was doing randomized evolutions on this and i am not um there are randomized evolutions available uh during the regular iron wand challenge uh but i did not do that for this if you know how to randomize games you can kind of go through the settings and you know learn how to set up the set up the game how you want all right next encounter get this team filled up really hoping i get the lady one Really hoping I was gonna get the aggro on, but you know what? It is what it is. Two bugs back to back. Uh, let's see. Let's see for nicknames. I almost feel like I've used this nickname for this Pokemon before, but I'm gonna name it Taco. Don't know why I feel like I've used that name before. 
I've used the name Taco a million times. But I just I just think it's a fun name. I don't know why. So Lediba, you are now Taco. Now let's go over to the route over to the left. Route 102. And see what we get here. A meow stick. Interesting. Interesting. Um let me pull up the comments on the Facebook for nickname. Got the first couple from uh from the YouTubes. Okay. Throw a Pokeball. Let's name this Hugo. Shout out, Bobby. The Constraint Pokemon. Interesting, uh, interesting name. Also, I need to get used to this, but during this subathon, um, if you guys have seen the clips of wearing these glasses, they're blue light glasses, um, and they've actually they've helped me tremendously. I was having a really, really bad time the first, like, week, two weeks or so of the subathon. Like, after the first week, my eyes were hurting. I was having headaches every day. And a lot of people, like, have you tried blue light glasses? I was like, yeah, I got blue light filters on my monitors and whatnot. And, you know, a lot of people like, you should give them a try because they've helped me a ton. So I talked to some peoples and uh, Gamer Advantage sent me a pair. They gave me a code, HTB Breezy. They did want to try them out. Um, they did help me out a ton. So I've been wearing them a lot. And uh, it's been making this subathon a lot more bearable. Dead unsparse. Oh boy. Uh, let's just go for the water pulse. Oof, we tanked that. Oh, that's a crit. That's not fun. Oh, my cat is out in the corner right now. Ooh, big crit. Okay, do I want to switch train something on this? I kind of want to go into Hugo. I didn't look at, look at abilities at all yet. Swift, that's going to hurt. Okay, and then I'm going to switch back into Gustavo. Zizi, what are you doing? He's over in the corner over there. Can you not rub against that book? I'm going to have to move that. My wife has a like an old Russian book in the corner on the shelf. And it's like a from her grandmother or something like that. Revenge. Here is my... Um, and it's over there, like, you know, decorative. She wants it kind of on the side. And my cat ZZ found how to climb over there. Now he's always sitting in the corner and he, like, rubs against the book and stuff. And I'm like... Cat always causing issues, man. Always causing issues. All right, let's, uh, you have Flash Fire. You have Shield Dust. You have Flash Fire as well. You have Oblivious. For move sets, we have Confusion, Rock Throw, Scratch, and Skill Swap. Twin Needle, Silver Wind, Air Cutter, Mud Slap. And you have Leech Life, Mud Slap, Drain and Kiss. Mud Slap is not boosted, uh, but Drain and Kiss is really good. Um, so this randomizer with the move sets preferring similar type has been really good. It's been really good. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um, if this is the first series you've watched for me, uh, just a little background on how I usually do these. I usually do about 25 to 30 minutes at most uh, per episode. I try to end off at a somewhat decent spot, um, but I try to keep them in that time frame because I know a lot of people. I'm one of these people, or at least used to be one of these people. Um, I watched these on my lunch breaks when I was at my regular job, and I know a lot of people also watch this on their lunch breaks, so I tried to make the videos kind of like a lunch break worthy length, you know what I mean? I don't want to make it an hour long each episode, and it just... You know, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time on your day to sit and watch something that long. So I feel like the 25 minute range is kind of where I like to be at. Sometimes it's less, sometimes it's more, but usually where I like to be at. Um, every, every single video, if you guys leave comments, uh, that's usually what I do is I refer back to the most recent video to uh, get nickname suggestions. So um, keep them PG. I do try to keep my YouTube and Facebook videos PG. Once in a blue moon, I might slip and let a swear out, but I try to do my very best to not do that. I know a lot of people watch these videos with their kids and stuff, so 
yeah, over the years, I've tried to become a little more family friendly on the YouTube side, at least. Uh, oof. Let's go to Hugo. We do have confusion on Hugo. It's weird. I'm so used to doing this. So you gotta watch out for that move. Um, or skill swap. Twister. All right, I now have a Bolivius, which means that was his, his ability, I think. Fusion. Nice. Very nice. Mm -mm. Go back and heal. Uh, let me actually put... Hugo's not bad. Fire Ghost. What is Fire Ghost weak to? It's weak to like rock, ghost, dark, uh, water. Like debating who I want to grind up first. I think I might keep Cutie Fly on the team. Rabombi is a really good Pokemon. It's honestly like pretty underrated in my opinion. It's a perfect nature. Minus attack plus defense. That's good. Um, having Draining Kiss is already really nice. It's cool that they added Fairy typing into this game too. Um, so I'm going to lead with this. Try to get this a little bit of experience. Let's try to get some experience. Also, if you also, if you guys have been watching me for a long time on YouTube, Facebook, whatever, and you kind of lost track of where I'm streaming, because I was multi-streaming pretty much everywhere. Um, I'm pretty much just streaming on Kick now. And then I do some streams on Twitch. I mean, uh, on TikTok as well. Um, no, not everybody has every platform and not everybody wants to download another platform or another app to watch somebody but if you did want to watch that's where i'm at mm -mm -mm. it's been awesome honestly it's treated me a lot better than facebook ever did a lot better than twitch ever did uh kick's been really good a lot of people try to talk smack about it but i think it's all just hate people being haters because i mean i've had nothing but pretty much good times on there Iggly buff. Let's go for a confusion. Thunder punch. Oh boy. Um, there is no... I don't know if I've already mentioned this, but there's no physical special split in this game. So, all electric moves, even thunder punch, are special attacks. So, if you see me putting thunder punch on a purely special attacker, that's why. Entering my line of sight. Sounds like a skill issue. I never even read that comment. All the 30,000 times I've played this game, I never read that comment. That's hilarious. Um, I rock the run you as well. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, Poison Tail. No poison. Okay, thank you. Um, yikes. Yikes. Goes for the wing attack. That would have been very bad. Powderstone. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> uh, if I lost the Pokemon that quickly into this Nuzlocke, I would have been so sad. Silver Wind. Yes. Let's get rid of Leech Life. Mm -mm. And the game is already on set mode, which is good. That's how I planned on playing it anyway, so. Um, I'm probably not going to keep Lettybaugh on the team. I mean, to be fair, I don't really see why I would. So I'm going to probably grind up other Pokemon first. Um, I will be catching Pokemon on every route and, you know, putting them in the box and changing them out as I see fit. Oh, I could have a Totodile. My boy. Oh, and he has Intimidate. That's like such a fitting ability for a Totodile. I love it. I love it. Um, All right. That was a very, very long <laughs> route one to get through. To be fair, it took way too long to get through the Guard War alone. Um, but we're going to wrap this one up here. We'll save it up. And I will have the encounter right after this route the forest and then there's two more near the next city there's the route after the city and the cave so we got four encounters in the next episode so make sure you leave nicknames in the comments uh make sure you like the videos make sure you're subscribed wherever you're watching uh and i will see you in the next one peace out